Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday so far. My day's been busy, 
getting ready for a new Lego stream. Had to grab a couple of screenshots and whatnot. But uh, welcome in. If you are new, then on Fridays we usually build Lego. And for the longest time we've been building official Lego sets, leaning on the Star Wars, but also taking in some other things like Transformers and lighthouses and things that appeal. And uh, very often those Lego sets are sent in by members of the community, fans of the channel. And this is similar, but different. This is a set that was not just sent in by Grandpa Crafter, who's in the chat right now. Hi, Grandpa Crafter. But also designed by Grandpa Crafter. And if you think it looks familiar, it's because Grandpa Crafter took the time to design the West Hill Main Gate, which is my city in Minecraft that I've been working on for three plus years, and turned the city main gate into a Lego set. So it's more than just what's in the box. I've got a couple of bags of pieces here off to the side as well. Uh, but this is really, really cool. I've, I've never built a, a mock of my own creation, um, which is a funny thing to say here on stream because, of course, it's not my creation. It's, it's Grandpa Crafter's Lego creation uh, based on something that I did. Uh, but big shout out and thank you to Grandpa Crafter in the chat. It's a really thoughtful, really unique way to support the channel. And I, I really, really appreciate it. And uh, we're going to dig in. There's a booklet inside. There's some text and images and things like that. I will show you that uh, if this looks familiar, then this is the, the build in the Minecraft world. That's the main gate of West Hill. Now, back when Grandpa Crafter was designing this, it still had the old top on it. I, I changed that, I think, after he had finished <laughs> designing the set. So uh, it's now... Uh, we're, we're doing the vintage. It's, it's the, the old, old world version of the West Hill main gate, but either way, uh, I think it still looks pretty, really cool. I'm not sure what the scale is on it. Grandpa crafter. Maybe you can educate us in the chat, um, and let us know what, like, if you just like how you decided to come up with the scale and whatnot, but in the meantime, we'll get into it and, uh, and see what's up. I will also thank Scotsman UK for the tier one sub 16 months. Always good to see some new Lego. Thanks very much, Scotsman. Great to see you here. Folks, if you haven't already followed Scotsman on Twitch, then you should. We often raid them. They are doing another big project in Minecraft. We do like the big projects around here. All right, so we've got the booklet. And I believe... Unique minifig. Oh, that's going to be fun to open. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to Alistair and Cosmic. Uh, both of them were very helpful in instrumenting the shipment and delivery and organization of the set. And uh, I know that Alistair put a lot of time in to help bag the pieces. So I don't know yet what pieces we're going to need. It doesn't look like there's anything in here that's um, of any other significance other than just more pieces. So we will... Oh, there is a spider. <laughs> That's cool. I'll pull that out. Um, so yeah, we're... We'll return to that when we get to actually building things. So let's take a look at the book and see what's up. Uh, actually, before I look at the book, I should also show <laughs> there's another bag of pieces and there's another bag of pieces. So <laughs> there's just there's just a few pieces. The bag or the box says um, actually the box is really cool too. Hold on, before I get I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, the box says 2,700 pieces, which is wild. Has the Sigil series. Model designed by Grandpa Crafter based on the original Minecraft art by Joel Duggan. There are images on the side of the box. There is, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there's a QR code and a website on the back and the side. We've also got the dimensions. So we're looking at 60 centimeters wide, 44 centimeters tall, 36 centimeters deep. As well as some history. 
Main gate designed on December uh, 2020. Man, that's a while ago. Yeah, it's a lot of pieces, Blast Jordan. Uh, they're pretty big pieces, though. So Some of the shipping material has been, I think, stuck to this. That is... I think that's, oh, there we go. Clear plastic bit here. A lot of static electricity happened. All right. Very cool. Oh, I guess we're doing this way. Buy a Joel a Lego set. See his creativity displayed over a few hours. Introduce a Joel to Minecraft. See his creativity develop and thrive across seven years. Thoughtful way to put that. The Citadel Minecraft server is creative home to Joel Duggan, a few close friends, and a cosmic. From the beginnings, when everyone built together in Dartmouth Meadows, to the development of the Nether and Nether Hub, to the establishment of build zones on the server, the adventures have encompassed seven years worth of Minecraft, building projects from all walks of life. That's actually really fitting because we're coming up on seven year anniversary in a week, I want to say, here on, on the stream, so that's really cool. Each year on February 20, 22nd, the server remembers the victims of the Great Iron Farm Fire of 2018. That's something that Alzer does on stream, I think. Uh, when many villagers lost their lives as a consequence of MacCast's astounding ability to attract creepers. Yeah, that was a sad day. Little tidbits about the server. Fire tick is turned off. Pick up your day one supplies in the community farms in Dartmouth Meadows. Travel south, taking to the wonderful Wizard Tower, the modern suburban house, and the delightful rustic builds nestled around the area. F find another portal and visit Avalon to be transported back to the wonderful medieval village that's definitely not a home to a cult. That's an Alistair reference. Other builds on the server, we've got after Avalon, return to the present to visit Asteria, home of the stunningly large stair monument. Be sure to drop into the stair museum while you're there. The present also holds the wonderful Southport, a modern city with the tall as tall skyscrapers. Keep your precious blocks safe in the block bank just down the street. I really want to get back into building in the modern city. I really had a lot of fun. And I have to finish one of those buildings. This one's finished. The other one is not finished at all. Uh, travel back again in time via another magic portal to take the wonderful filled town, wonder filled town, excuse me, of Westhill. Before your eye enter the gate, walk up to the top of a large stone mountain from which the town gets its name. Gaze across the breathtaking, breathtaking vista of shops, houses, and the keep. Once you go inside, be sure to say hi to the roof pig. So these are just p pictures of Westhill. And then we get into the build. Very cool. So, parts pick list one. Six of those, 15 of those. So this is gonna be unique in that I'm gonna have to pick the parts first before I actually start building. So we tend to null out the pieces here on the channel. So should be good. Uh, is there anything else? Nope, that was the first page. That's the back page. Okay, cool. I thought the Minecraft soundtrack would be fitting for this stream. I am 99% sure I have Twitch set up to not have this appear on the VOD. So if you're watching the VOD later, there will be no music in the background. Uh, because I just don't trust YouTube or Twitch for the false positives. I think it will be less confusing if I keep this flat. Yeah, okay. Parts list. I don't recall what was in here, so let's just take a quick look. There were some white pieces. And definitely some brown pieces. I feel like I should probably grab the browns. I'm not sure whether this... It looks like a lot of this might actually be for the first steps, so we'll just clear this out. Oops. 
Matto, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. True Purple, Sweet Sandy, good to see everybody. All right, so we'll just, I guess, grab these as I need them. Doesn't look like there's a lot of white, and what there is is just the small ones. It's interesting to have Lego in Ziploc bags because um, normally they're in a very crinkly, kind of harder plastic that makes a very distinct noise. One, 3001 white. Oh. Off to a good start. And brown. Like some of these might be around. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's a different kind of brown. Let me just double check. No, that's the same color. Or is it? It is not the same color. Alright. How am I supposed to know? Maybe it's just because these are the bigger pieces? Hold on. Grandpa Crafter says there are brown and dark reddish brown. Um, and are they labeled? Reddish brown. Okay. So they're, they're indicated in the pick list that they're reddish brown versus brown. And I'm guessing my artist eye is going to tell me that's brown and that's reddish brown. So, we're looking for brown. Bags are sorted by color and roughly by size. There were too many to have my minions sort them out by sequence. Uh, yeah. Um, I would refrain from saying minions. I think friends that did you a solid <laughs> would be a better way to put that. Fifteen of these. Two, four, six, eight. It's been a while since I've built with big solid bricks. Two, four, six, eight. Ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. And then we're just going to go and look for all the other pieces. So um, if they were sorted by color and size, then I'm going to go... I guess I just have to make sure I'm not grabbing any reddish brown. That's reddish brown. So this is probably going to be a little bit of a longer process than normal. What I might do ahead of time on like for these streams is sort out some of this part picking early. Maybe I'll do like bonus streams or something. 
Uh, six of the black ones. I saw those somewhere. I think I have to get into the other bag. I'm sure after a while I will realize what's reddish brown a lot easier. tricky to grab the reddish ones. These look more like what I'm looking for. And I'm not, I'm not seeing any reddish in the instructions for this step, so anything that's reddish will just Set aside. Okay. Uh, those are long. of those. That one. And now some plates. Those are reddish brown. What's the one I can't find? That one. Two, three, four, five, six. Fifteen of those, five of those, one of those, four of those, one of these, six of those, two of those, one of those, one of these, 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 one
two of those, two of those. That's the brown, okay. Super fast, hello, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. So we've got the white, so it's just the light bluish gray. That looks like dark gray. no gray in the box that means that the gray is in the bag See the difference between the dark gray I would say there's this light gray this to me looks like the light bluish gray and then a dark gray Let's just take a look at the back of the book, where I think there was like a full parts list. Dark bluish gray, light gray, and light bluish gray. Yeah, so there's only three different kinds of grays. Light, dark, and then this is obviously neutral. Light bluish gray. 65. Holy smacks. And seven. Well, process of elimination. We can get rid of all this. I don't normally have to move around this much, so if I bang the mic, I apologize. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Noling is half the battle. That's. I've never, how did we not think of that before, McScrew Gun? How is that not a command? Do I have any mods in chat that can make that a command? And then 65 of these. Well, I mean, the good news is this is probably going to come together pretty fast. I'm just going to... Easiest way to do this is probably going to be to just set out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I don't have to count them. That's right, Sandy. I'll do it on the break. Someone remind me, or someone throw it in the um, the mods Discord chat, and I'll take care of it. Thanks, though. Oh, it got removed? Sometimes we just remove commands that have been around for a while. 
Also, if the command was long, then it would have been removed. I also tend to delete commands that weren't requested. It's 40. Uh, no, leave the nulling command the way that it is. Um, never mind, Elkhorn. I'll take care of it later. Rather than going over the semantics of what it should and shouldn't be. I think the problem with some commands is that they get they, they get convoluted and overused. Three, four, five, six. And five. That should be 65. Yeah, the Nolan command as it is is, is what I want to keep. I don't want to remove that or change it cool thanks for adding that to the mod channel appreciate it um i don't know if it'll be that different knowing with the set it's just that it's going to be a little bit of time is going to be sent spent picking out the parts i guess uh and these are numbered so that'll be interesting Still need the dark gray pieces? Oh, good. Thanks, you. Thanks. I'll get to those after I clear the table a bit here. 657, 477. Okay. <laughs> I'm so much better with my right hand <laughs> doing this than I am with my left. I gotta remember that I gotta leave room for the uh, the book.
pretty straight. <laughs> We're doing alright. It's hard when you're not, like, right in front of it. One, two, three, four, five, so that's fifty. Do that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Yeah, thirteen times five. Cool. Uh, dark gray. Seven and forty-six. Cooper Washer, well, you're in the right spot. If you like Lego, thanks for the follow. Cooper was here, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No worries, Cooper. Yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever built with this many full-size Lego bricks. These are the bricks of my youth. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Hopefully this will not become counting with Joel. Two, four, six, eight. That's thirty. Two, four, six, eight, forty. So Cooper, are you a, uh, a Minecraft fan as well? Because this is a set that was designed by Grandpa Crafter in chat, but built and designed off of my main gate in West Hill in Minecraft. I'm curious now what it would be like to design some of my Minecraft builds in Lego. I think that could be really fun. When I was a kid, 
we used to uh, use these as dominoes. We used to line them up and do domino stuff with them. Which I'm I'm sure Lego probably thought about. They have a very distinctive plastic clink when they hit one another, different than normal dominoes. Last Jordan, I don't think I knew that you were interning in Taiwan. That's really cool. I imagine somewhere there's been somebody that's done like research level stuff uh, it for like with Lego, you know, I'm sure there's been like physics projects and all kinds of things like that where Lego was used. So Grandpa Crafter, with regards to the, the pieces, um, I, I know from talking with Alistair that you had to grab them from a, a variety of different third party sites. What were the what were the main sites that you were using? Just for anybody that's watching this later that might be interested in doing their own their own my own creation. I don't know that I've really taken the time to listen to much of the new Minecraft music. I've reviewed it on the podcast with Johnny, and that's always been fun, but I don't tend to go back to it. It is a little bit strange to uh, to be listening to Minecraft tra tracks that I haven't heard in forever because once I started streaming, I, I turned the music off in the game and you forget that kind of experience of having that single player track, you know, going when you're first starting a Minecraft world. Oh, 
Well, it's almost straight. Definitely a lot easier to organize when everything's a, a square or a rectangle. Cool. So just to double check, we've got six of these black pieces. We've got 15 of the brown, two by fours. We've got five of the squares. One two by four plate, four two by three plates, one two by two plate, six two by two smooth plates. I guess those are not plates. Are they? I can't remember the name of these. What's the difference? These are plates. I can't remember what those are called. Uh, two one by twos, two one by sixes, seven of the two by two bricks. 47 of the 2x4 dark bluish gray bricks, 7 of the 2x2 two two light bluish gray bricks, hard to say, and 65 of the light bluish gray bricks, and one lonely, lonely white brick. Tiles, thank you, Mixed Gun. Plates and tiles, thank you. Yep. I knew I was messing that up. So often on the stream when I'm doing Lego, I um, unfortunately refer to them as like this thing here and that thing there. <laughs> um, I am a little early for my first break, but I'm going to take it now anyway, just because I mean we're about to start building and I normally take a break on the hour, but it's been about 50 minutes. So it seems like a pretty good time to do that. My coffee is also getting cold. So I'm going to refresh the cup of coffee, grab a, a five or six minute break. You should too. Grab a friend, let them know about the stream. And uh, we'll be back in five or six minutes.
All right, so it looks like we're building a tower to start off. So we'll need three of these. The instructions might not all be on the screen, but it's a big book, so this is just going to have to be how it goes. So that's going to go together like that. And then we need nine of these. And then build three this way. So this that way. I wonder if I could remember how to build the little star fighters that I used to make. These would be the wrong colors, but that would be kind of fun. So that stays there. This connects that way. It doesn't really connect, it just kind of sits there. And then this goes this way. Like that. That looks right to me. And we've got three of these little guys. And they go in the corner there, in the corner here, and in the corner there. And then we connect it all with four of these guys. This is going to go there. Well, maybe not connect at all. Connect most of it. Like that. Five more, no, eight, eight of these, four. This goes here. And just go around the edge. we got there so just quickly before I get to the next step I'm really curious if I can remember how to do this uh, let's grab one of these so I used to make these little ships my buddy Scott and I used to do this and I'm pretty sure they were like this and then we'd have we only we only tried to use these two by four bricks. We tried to make these little like fighter jet things. Like little spaceships. I feel like they were bigger than this. We just secure that in place and we put on like a tail. This, this was this was the 
the hot thing <laughs> when I was seven. <laughs> Just making little little planes out of bricks. It's weird how I can remember how to do that. I feel like I remember them being bigger, but that also could have been just me being a lot smaller. Anyway. But it's, it's no accident that I, I really enjoy Lego these days because I spent a lot of time. I still have all of my Lego sets too. Um, I've been meaning to dig them out and bring them uh, to the Lego Let's Chat because I've got like classic pirate set. I've got uh, one of the classic castles from the 80s. Um, I'm pretty sure I have all the pieces. And if I don't, we live in an age where we can obviously uh, get the pieces. Uh... Grandpa Quester, uh, Crafter says, I missed your question earlier due to a long Twitch pause. Um, I was asking about what um, third-party sites you might have gotten the pieces from out of curiosity for anybody that's wanting to do their own Lego mock. Uh, I did that step, so now I've got eight more of these. Two, four, six, eight. Start here. Sturdy. Two of those, two of those, and another six of these. Uh, sourced them all through a website called Bricklink, which is a marketplace for sellers of used Lego. Bricklink.com. Cool. I've heard of Bricklink. I just wasn't sure. Uh, they also make the modeling software that you used. The individual shops are listed on the credits page at the end of the manual. Oh, cool. Credits page at the end of the manual. Parts for this model were sourced from the following shops via bricklink.com. Almost all at Sagemann's. Bunt Sten in Germany. DD Bricks. Bricks Store with BRX Store. Ace of Bricks and A Brick Away in Canada. Really cool. Like I said, I've never even had to look for missing pieces online, so I'm unfamiliar Seven and one. One of those. Uh, that stays there. And this one is here. That. Do you find that the modeling software is easy to use, Grandpa Crafter? Was it intuitive or did it take a lot of finicking and messing around? I've, I feel like I've messed around with a Lego software at one point and I just really didn't like the interface and ended up being frustrated and not spending much time in it. Not sure if this is easy to see what's happening from the top down view with the camera. I'm still trying to figure out how to get a second camera shot in here, but this is what we've got so far. So I didn't I didn't peek ahead too much in the instructions, but if I was to hazard a guess, I would say 
that we're working on the left hand side tower. I skip step eight. I might have. Yeah, I think I did. Thank you. We would have been found out eventually. Is it this way? There we go. I think I was reading the chat. Not the first time. Two of those. Two of these. And another five. So I missed I missed two that I I was probably distracted by my spaceship too. This looks right. The modeling in Bricklink Studio, says Grandpa Crafter, is pretty intuitive and easy. When you start working on building sequence and manual, you run into less polished areas of the software. Oh, okay. I think the one that I was using was from Lego, like it was an official Lego version. Nine, let's try this again. Grandpa Crafter gifted a tier one sub to the EP Panda. Thanks so much, Grandpa Crafter. Panda, if you want to connect your Discord and your Twitch, you can now join the Joel Duggan Discord. Where we all like to hang out in between streams. Pretty nerdy spot. I think you'll like it. Sometimes it takes Twitch a couple of minutes to connect, so give yourself 15 or 20 minutes, but worth checking now, just in case the, the internet gods are smiling in your favor today. That was step number 10. Okay. Two, three, four, six. Last two of those. It's not that often that you get into such height so quickly in a Lego build. It's, it's different. It's very cool compared to the other stuff that we've been building. Mostly vehicles lately. They tend to be very low and flat. Or you tend to build them flat and then assemble them rather than just like building up, you know? Okay. 
I like the way that this looks like bricks. Very cool. Okay, uh, and then finally, eight of these. TDV Silver Bagel, welcome in. The set is described for you in chat. This is the Grandpa Crafter exclusive, the West Hill Main Gate. <clears throat> Pardon me. And it's modeled after my build in Minecraft. And this is part of a medieval town that I've been working on for three and a half years. That's the main gate. Uh, originally constructed in December of 2020. But more recently, brought to Lego by Grandpa Crafter, who was in the chat. So this goes off the edge like that. You'd think as someone that designed these towers, I'd have a, a good idea of where things were going. <laughs> but I'm along for the Lego ride like the rest of you. My, uh, my Lego mat here is a little squishy, so it's hard to get all the pieces to compress. Brown. Brand new color. Got six of these coming in. That's on that corner. So I'm curious, Grandpa Crafter, how did you come up with the scale? Was it roughly one of these two by two bricks equals? one Minecraft brick, give, give, like give or take? Because I know that obviously Minecraft blocks are cubes and Lego bricks are not. Uh, I don't remember this track. Is this one of the new ones? I don't know. I can't see my iTunes from here. It's probably one of the new ones. It could also be from the second album, which sounds like it might be. All right, now we have to do some plates. Two of those, one of those, two of those, four of those, and that one.
think I know what these um, tiles are going to be used for. Cool. Yeah. The trusty trapdoor. At least I think. I have to remember what they actually look like. What I used in this section. Need eight of these. Two, four, six, eight. No, two, four, six. Uh, those are towards us, so then this goes. I feel like I missed something. Alright. Fifteen. Did the tiles. Seventeen was the brown bricks. the top like that. 18, this gets rotated this way. I guess I just can't see it in the image, but this little area gets covered up, I think. Like that. White Field Boss Fan, thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. to make sure I've got this in the right direction. Careful to make sure that I'm following the brick pattern. That's 20. 21. Surprise. Eight more of these. Grandpa Crafter says, I thought about using smaller pieces to make it more hollow and lighter. That didn't feel as Minecrafty and solid and sturdy for such a large build, so I ended up with the two by two as a single block. That makes sense. That makes sense. I, th I imagine too, like when you don't, if you go at a specific scale in Lego, I imagine it makes sourcing the blocks a lot easier when you're looking for just basic bricks as opposed to getting into like specialty plates and tiles and all that stuff. I imagine it's probably a little bit easier to design and build. Those trapdoors make a repeated appearance throughout the build. As you'd expect for a Joel medieval piece, yes. Very true. Very true. Four of those. Four of these. 
And for those, that's a good sign. That's a classic Minecraft track for all you. And then these go left there, right there, there, and there. I'm not sure what you want to call this. I guess section one. Step one, parts one through 22. So we've got a start of a tower. I really like the brick pattern. That's really cool. And I like the um, the shading, the nice touch. Very cool. 23. East Tower, base completed. So it is the East Tower. Nice. Fun. Well, we're only at 20 after 2, so we can look at picking out... Well, the, there's a lot here. Parts pick list 2, East Tower, South Entry. Ah. I see. And we're doing reddish browns. So my guess is we've got brown for spruce, but we've got reddish brown for dark oak would be my guess. Cool. Uh, I guess I can put this over here. Unfortunately, a lot of the stuff is out of my reach. Uh, CJ, I agree. It is really fun. Break piece, yeah. Two of those. And I'm sure as we go on, we'll get a lot more accustomed to the different colors. Uh, bluish gray. Squares, bricks. Also those. Looks like they're in here. for two of those but whatever when you need them you need them is there anything else in here that we need no oh. oh yes two of those i might uh i might take a page from steven's book uh, Steven ESC, I might pop by the dollar store and get a couple of cheap Tupperware containers just so that they're not in bags. I could have the Tupperware containers just here on the table and that could be useful too. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six. Four of these. 
please. Man, tight little bags. Two, three, and four. Sweet Sandy with 200 bits saying the first bag is done. Thanks very much for the support, Sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. Uh, 17 of these guys. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. I think that's all the gray and the dark stuff. So we've got two of those, check. I've got two of those, check. 17 of those, I just counted. Four of those. Two of the small ones. 14 of those and two of those. So I need th these guys right there. in here does not look like it not immediately seeing these just give me one second have to come back to those. Gappy the guy, hello, welcome back. So don't let me forget about those. 44 of the blues. Forty-four. 
Everything going as planned? Yeah, so far. I've got one one little set of pieces I have to hunt down, but I'm I'm thinking that's going to be a frequent occurrence with this set, and that's fine. and four. So forty four sixteen. Oh, that's the wrong one. Two of those, I already have those. And so now we're down to the the one by ones. So I can't find the bag with either of those. Just right now. I'm sure it's here. I'm not seeing it immediately. Uh, I don't see a bag that has the one by ones anywhere. See if there's anything in these. Those are the wrong color. And nothing of the right size. These are the right color. Pretty sure we already emptied this one out.
Yep, nothing there. Blast Jordan, thanks for coming out. So those two we don't have just yet. Uh, two of those we do have. 16, two white plates. I saw those a second ago. Three two by sixes. Two, four, six. Yep. One, one by two. got light gray and light gray but not the light bluish gray oh light bluish gray we've got the big piece Four, six, eight. Okay. Sixteen of these. These must be hard to find. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. And then we're into the brown, but this is all reddish, 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 all reddish brown. like it might be brown. So 
So this looks like the reddish brown. So I'm going to double check. Yeah. So now we know that that's reddish brown. So I can compare all the other stuff to it. Six two by three plates. Two two by eight plates. Wait, four plates. I gotta double check to make sure these aren't regular brown. And they are. Right. That is really hard to tell. It does look... Got the four small ones. I don't know if the right piece is in here. One by six. Does not look. Oh, there we go. that. I think the only thing left are the two by ones and the two by eight. So 
Those are a different color brown. that to two of them and then it's just the two by one seem to see where the reddish brown two by one is this is the wrong color I think yeah oh victory Just the one, or there's two of them. Two of those. Thank you, sweet Sandy, much appreciated. Um, that is going to be my time, I think, because I, I'm going to have to take a longer look for the two one by one studs in the dark bluish gray and the six one by one studs in the light bluish gray. Uh, we can go through here quickly and double check. We've got two black, two of the L shaped pieces. I remember counting out 17 of those. Four. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. Four of these, correct. One that we don't have. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 of those. Two of those. I'm not counting them again, but there's 44 of those. The missing six of those. Two of those. 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 2, 3, uh, this guy was hiding, 1, 2 of those, 2 of those, 6, turn that off for now.
two, 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 two of those, one of those, four of those, 16 of those, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. And then two of those L-shaped pieces, which I thought I saw. Those are the wrong color. These are the right color. Cool. All right. So that's the whole count for the pick list with the exception of the one by ones. All right. So what I'll do is I'll take a longer look for this stuff in between streams. And I think what I'll probably do for next time is I'll probably uh, take some time in between the streams to categorize a couple of this stuff and make sure that I at least have the bags together you know I'll, I'll put all the reddish stuff together and i'll keep it separate from the brown just so i'm not guessing halfway through um same thing with the the dark blue the light blue grays and then the medium grays or the light grays we'll do we'll do a look around and make sure that i've got everything sorted um and i'll have a solid look when i'm not um scrambling around off camera for these two uh types of pieces that i can't seem to spot right now but like look you'd have to be uh, an eagle eye to spot any of these pieces in the um, the, the the sea of bags that I am I'm sitting in right now. <laughs> there's there's a lot. I know there's nothing left in the box, but I'll double check all the other places. I think this is where I'm going to pass you along to Tadpole Milk, who is streaming some Minecraft, fitting giving the soundtrack that we were listening to today. If you've enjoyed this, leave a follow here on the channel before you take off. I would very much appreciate it. We do Lego every Friday. I'll be back again tomorrow. Oh, no, wait. Tomorrow could potentially be no stream. Uh, keep an eye on Twitter, at Joel Duggan on Twitter for a stream tomorrow. Normally, I do... Um, I do one o'clock on Saturdays, but I've got a family thing this weekend so uh do check twitter to make sure that i'm streaming if i stream i might stream earlier i'll just i'll let you know uh also check out the spawn chunks podcast on mondays and the citadel cafe podcast on wednesdays you can find those anywhere you listen to podcasts uh, also on youtube just search for the shows by name uh, also the spawnchunks.com or the citadelcafe.com both of them are easy to find through joelduggan.com imagine that I'm pretty easy to spot on the internet. Uh, it's Joel Duggan on Twitter, Joel Duggan on Instagram, and of course, Joel Duggan on Patreon if you'd like to support the stream uh, in a very affordable way. I know that uh, things are tight for people around the globe right now, and I really appreciate all of your support. It really does help me do this on a regular basis. And if you want to keep things on the uh, the narrow, then you can go to patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. Check out the entry level tier at $2 a month. It's less than a cup of coffee. And uh, that consistency and the number of people coming in at that lower tier really do help me stream on a regular basis. And I can't thank you all enough. It's a really fun job. And it's because of you, I get to do it. It is uh, the Patreon payday. As a matter of fact, today it's when Patreon sends out all the payments to all of their creators. And uh, I really, really appreciate it. It's such a cool, cool thing to be able to do this. So if you are ready, I will send you along to Tadpole Milk. Give them my best and I will see you... If not tomorrow, then certainly next Wednesday for another Minecraft stream. Bye for now.